It's time for Ryan's Roses. Here we go. I didn't give you much on the air because I wanted to do it all at once and focus. There is a story that we got. It says, Dear Ryan and Ellen, a few weeks ago, my husband went to a company meeting. He left with his coworker, a dude, and did not come back till about 10.45 p.m. But this time, a female coworker dropped him off, and I saw the car parked down the block for a little while before they eventually pulled up and got out. Oh. So the car with the woman in it dropping him off was parked. A block away. What was going on in the car? Right down the street. Oh. I pretended to be asleep when he walked in. Everyone's done that. I've done that. Pretending? <laughs> and then what? It just takes, sometimes it takes you guys so long in the bathroom. Like, we're pretending to be asleep. Like, really? You're still washing your face? <laughs> like, hurry. At least with us, you don't have to pretend for too long. Like, we just, like, slip in. Yeah. As if you can't hear us. Mm, right. Or feel us pull the sheets Well, the, the pretending is mutual. I pretended to be asleep. When he walked in, and the next morning I asked him about the event, and he never mentioned the female coworker dropping him off. Something mm. is just not right. It's from Veronica. She's in Simi Valley. Veronica, I, I hate that you're going through this. Yeah. So you saw the car. Could you see anything going on inside the car? Not really. I mean, I think they were just talking because it was, you know, a couple uh, houses up the street. I could just see because it's a dark street. So I saw the light. So it seemed like they were just talking when the car door opened and he got out. You know, it's not like they I saw them kiss. But what, what if I just, what, what if they're working on a project together or an account together and they needed to finish the conversation, didn't want to pull up and disturb you because you were sleeping? It would make noise. It's well, possible. Right. And no, well, that's why I didn't want to jump to conclusions. So that's why, like, the next morning, I was just asking him questions. I was just saying, like, oh, did, did Matt get a little too drunk to drive you home? Or, like, you know. What did like, he say to that? Time? He's like, no, no, and just kind of changed the subject. Never uh... once mentioned her. Never once mentioned that he got dropped off by someone else. Like, I... I don't know. It just it makes me uncomfortable that he's lying. What happened yeah. to Matt? We, we don't know what yeah, happened he, to Matt. Matt picked him up and then Matt didn't drop him off. So what happened to Matt? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why I like specifically asked about Matt and he didn't have any information to offer up. He just acted as though Matt did drop him off. Do you know you Matt know? well? Can you ask Matt? I don't want to. You don't want to. Yeah, 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 that's true. That'd you be know? awkward and weird. Yeah. yeah I don't want to bring his yeah. work people into mm, it. Okay. You know? Well, so, but he's bringing them into it. Um, well, he is, but I don't want to do it before I really know what's happening. Veronica, you know? how long have you been married to him? Um, for 10 years. And do you have kids? Yes, two. What Eight is- and six. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring Patty in. She's going to offer him some roses. She's going to offer him some categories of cards. Then we're going to find out which category he chooses and what he puts on the card. And we want to get all that information to find out. Do you know what the coworker's name was that was in the car? No, I don't. Hmm. Would have been handy. Hmm. Okay, don't worry. Let me let me put you on hold. Okay. And then we'll get to this in a second, all right? It's part two of Ryan's Roses. Patty's in the studio. Patty, do you come up with the categories that are good? Like, what are the categories of the car that we're going to use? I have four bouquet themes. I have I love you, thinking of you, congratulations, and get well soon. It's good. I like it. I think it covers everything. Yeah. And then we yeah, need detail. Yeah. Every time you... So it's category and then it's some detail. Yeah. So they can put something specific on the category. Okay, this is a new layer to the Ryan's Roses that we just started. Um, Veronica's on the phone. This is interesting. If you just got to us, let me give you a quick lay of the land, and then we're going to call her husband of 10 years, two kids, eight and six. So her her husband goes to this company thing, Matt. Okay, Matt is a co-worker of her husband's. Matt picks her husband up. Yeah. They go. They go to this event. It's at night, so we're assuming there was a cocktail opportunity. Um Later that night, about 1045, there's a car parked a block away. Her husband's in the car. It's not Matt's car. It's a female coworker of his. She sees it. She spots it. They then pull in. Her husband gets out of the car, driven by a female coworker, mm-hmm. and she pretends like she's asleep. She asks him about the next day, and he tries to change the subject a lot. Yeah. That's kind of where we are. So, Veronica, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then whatever his name is, on KISS okay. FM. Okay. Ryan, you have permission to call on Kiss FM. Okay, we're going to call him. Patty's going to offer him the flowers. We want to find out who he sends them to. Obviously, okay. you're Veronica. You don't know the coworker's name, so we'll see if we can find right. out, right? Okay, great. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Ernie? Uh, speaking. Ernie, hi, my name's Patty. I'm calling from Flowers for You with the U. How are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm calling because you've been chosen to receive a free dozen roses. They're completely free, and you can send them to whoever you want. 
I don't need any information from you. Just the name of the person you want to send them to, uh, uh, the theme, the bouquet theme you want me to deliver, and the address. Uh, do I need to give you credit card information? Or no, it's like com- that, or? no, it's completely free. All I do, um, I do ask. I do ask for one thing, and it's if you, if it's possible for you to go onto my Yelp page or my or my Facebook page and write a quick review of the services that have been offered to you, and. And just, just uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just doing this for five customers this morning, and okay. I'm just trying to get the word out. And this, you know, by giving out five bouquets to five customers, I think that would definitely help a lot. Okay, cool. Yeah, let, let's do it. Okay, so let's just start with the uh, the bouquet thing, just so I can make sure that I, I have it in stock. Let me know what do you um you want for this person. You, you do you want the uh, I love you card? The thinking of you, congratulations, or get well soon. I have four. Uh, let's do the thinking of you card. Thinking of you. Okay. Uh, so let's, oh, let's see here. Who do you want to send them to? Um, uh, to Jackie. Jackie. And what do you want to put on the note? Um, say something, um, gonna get this worked out. Gonna get this worked out. Okay. Hey, Ernie. Uh, Yeah. Hi, it's Ryan Seacrest and Alan Kay. Hi, Ernie. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio right now. I need you to know that. Oh, God. Can you tell us who Jackie is? Yeah, uh, she's uh, uh, someone I work with. Okay, so I have your wife, Veronica, on the phone. What's going on with you and Jackie? What are you talking about here on this card? Hey. Why are you sending them to this person named Jackie? Babe, uh, uh, can we not do this on the radio? Can no, I really think we need to do this. Is Jackie the, per- the the woman I saw drop you off the other night? Yes, it was. So why are you sending her flowers? What are you going to get worked out? Babe, I really, I, th- I think it'd be much better if we don't do this on the radio. I think I want to do it right now because when I asked you questions the other day, you weren't telling me the truth. Arnie, what's going on with you and Jackie? I mean, clearly there's something happening. Are you having an affair with Jackie from work? Uh, it's not. I uh, we we slept together once. <gasps> and um, babe, I am so sorry. Um, she's she's pregnant. What? What? And I am, um, I'm so sorry, babe. This was such a huge mistake. And what? Uh, hold on, Ernie. Do you mean with your, with, do you mean she's I, pregnant with your baby? Yes. I really didn't want you to find out this way. I've, I've been trying to handle this and I am. Oh my God. How I are know. you going to tell your wife that your coworker is pregnant by you? I was hoping to get things resolved or try to figure things out so that I could tell her in person. Figure out? Shouldn't I be the first person that knows something like that? Ernie, what happened? How did you end up in this situation? I I really messed up. It was a one-time thing. I was drunk. It's not an excuse. I'm not at all trying to pretend what I did was right. And... uh, and and she got pregnant, and I'm so sorry. No, babe. she didn't I, get pregnant. You got her pregnant. You got her pregnant. First of all, you sleep with someone, and then you don't even have the wherewithal to use protection. Oh, I mean, I don't, so I don't Ernie, even know who you are Ernie, right now. Ernie, what is going on? What what are the two of you talking about here? Like, what's going to happen? Well, uh, we obviously are talking about options of whether or not she wants to keep this child or not. And... Uh, I, I'm. Uh, when were you planning on telling your wife? Uh, once I knew what we what Jackie's decision was going to be, it's not my decision, uh, and I, well, I, I messed up so bad, babe. And this is not it's not an affair. It, it was just a one time thing, and I know that all of this sounds horrible. No, but it's not. It is, you, you work with the woman. You're seeing her all the time. It's not just a one time thing. You're you're seeing her all the time at work, right? Yes, and well, we're then fine. that's not a one time thing. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. Time. Ernie, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. <laughs> Veronica, Ernie, are you okay? I don't I don't even know what to say right now. I'm I'm honestly speechless. I this is not what I expected to hear. I am so sorry, babe. I I, I know that right now there's no way that you want to hear anything that I have to say and, and just 
I, I royally messed up, and, and I want to fix this, and I want to make this better, and I'm so, so I sorry. I'm going to make it better. How are you going to make this better? I'll do whatever you need what, me to do. I really you've will. Already like, whatever you've already done. You've already done it all. You've already, you've already ruined everything. What do you, I mean, well, I, hope I, mean, that I don't I even know where we go trust. from here. Well, obviously we'll do whatever you want, but I don't want to lose you, and I don't want to lose our kids, and I, I want to... I want to make this right, and I am so sorry, love. I this is obviously not the way that I wanted you to find out, and I. Were I you trying up. to handle it so she would never find out at all, Ernie? No, no. I, I know that that's impossible to believe, but, but no. I wanted to confront her and tell her, but I wanted to have all the details set, and you know, I, I'm not going to tell um, my coworker whether to keep her to. You know, I I I know that I messed up. I mean, I know that it's really easy to. Look, I, I, I Ernie, know. Ernie, 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 Ernie. Just, mm. just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just, just, just hold on. Yeah. Veronica, can you hang on for a second? Yeah. 